News. Thank you so much for joining us for the Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm Whitney Miller. Today, the man accused of killing a Mandeville police officer entered a plea agreement and was sentenced to life in prison. Mark Spicer was charged with shooting two officers during a high speed chase through Mandeville back in 2019. Police Captain Vincent Laverta was shot twice and died at the scene. The other officer was rushed to the hospital but released that same day. For more, we turn to Leah McNeil at the courthouse in Covington. Good afternoon, Leah. Good afternoon, Winnie. Yeah, that is right. Mike Spicer, uh, Mark Spicer, rather, took a plea deal. The judge read each of those five counts out in this case. One by one, he pled guilty to all five. The judge sentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Also, five 50 years of hard labor. Now, this sentencing is four years in the making for Vincent Liberto's family, who was killed on October 20, 2019. I was inside the courtroom for this hearing, and I can tell you it was extremely emotional. When Spicer walked in, it was like the air was sucked out of the room. That same feeling came right before he was sentenced and said his final words. Spicer apologized to his family and Libertos and said, and I quote, I hope you all find peace. After the sentencing, the Liberto family was surrounded by dozens of law enforcement officers and community support for a press conference right outside the front steps of the courthouse. Vincent's wife, Tracy, said even though Spicer was sentenced, they are still no closer to getting justice for her husband, the man she called her best friend, soulmate, and her whole world. She was deciding on, she said deciding on a plea, to, plea deal was not an easy decision for the family. While we had initially comp contemplated pursuing the death penalty during a trial for the person who took the life of my husband, we have come to realize the challenge and uncertainties that come with it. The changing perspectives in society and the growing trend of clemency being granted to death row in inmates have influenced our decision. In light of these circumstances, we have chosen the plea deal as more certain means of ensuring that this monstrous individual remains behind bars for life for the murder of my husband. Now, a representative with the St. Tammany Parish um, office here at the courthouse did say that the plea deal that they agreed upon right here in my hands, he said it is airtight and it will ensure that Spicer will never see the light of day outside of a cell. Reporting live in St. Tammany Parish, Leah McNeil, Eyewitness News. Leah, thank you so much.